G'day scrappers, welcome to day four of this uh, scrap marathon leading up to Christmas. I think it's day four. Um, here I've got uh, quite a sought after little um, universal timer counter. Um, I did actually um, sell this, but um, it didn't work apparently, so he couldn't get it working, so he gave it back to me and I'm going to scrap it out it's this is one of those things that have been sitting in the garage uh, for uh, at least six months and um, yeah it's uh, like I said they, they're quite sought after if they're uh, in working condition but uh, and now well um, he couldn't get it working and um, it's just been gathering dust and cobwebs, so just one of those items that is uh, another good one to get out of the garage before the end of the year. And yeah, we're going to get there and uh, um, uh, this will go, it's plastic coated, so it's aluminium, it'll go as irony alley. Okay. These are quite valuable and, uh, yeah, people really want these. But unfortunately, uh, you know, if they can't get it working, uh, they end up costing more than uh, it's worth, you know, to try and repair it. So, oh, well, you know, I gave it a go. Um, I remember... I must have picked this up probably oh, two years ago and I remember people you know like contacting me um, and wanting this uh, it's a counter not really sure what it counts it might count cards and uh, you know the card counters at casinos <laughs> might use it But that's okay. I pick up all this stuff for free, so it's a bonus if they sell, if they, uh, but uh, I'm pretty sure the company that I, I picked this up, this is what they sort of, uh, they use for their own testing and, and stuff. And, um, you know, if, it's a like I said it's a good item if they could do anything with it they would you know if they could repair it they've got um, the right technicians that can do the job so oh well I can see some nice gold plugs here uh, that's a good start And I can see some awesome gold pins. So even though we're not going to get the true value out of it. Um, yeah. And, you know, people often, uh, you know, make comment about things that I scrap out. And they say, oh, you know, you could have sold that. So on. Yeah, I know. And um, if I can sell things easily, I do. But, you know. Just like in this case, no one wanted it. Let me just get a bigger screwdriver. So yeah, the, when I get like uh, comments from fresh people that are, are watching, um, you know, they uh, kind of assume that I'm scrapping out everything I get, and it's not the case. Uh, I scrap what I can't sell, and, and that's it. Uh, I've been in this game for uh, seven or so years now, might even be eight. You know, I do understand that things can sell. So this is a, a quite a interesting board it's a beautiful 
gold pins uh, gold fingers here we've got a fantastic set of gold pins here um, yeah just really deep gold so I, I you know right from you know right off the bat I want these gold pins and I'm not going to hesitate in going for them let me just break off some of this stuff to uh, show you here this is you know gold recovery um, from pins pretty much as good as it gets and and so what we want here is the actual um, you can see a little bit on the board here so I want this whole kind of section here bit bit messy but it doesn't matter so yeah look at that you know that's really good great gold recovery stuff here and so this is the last resort it's you know when I get things like this the first thing I think of is not uh, scrapping for uh, gold recovery and uh, I'm just trying to get people to uh, well most of your regular guys understand how scrapping works we try and you know in anything we do we try and get the best value that we can get and uh, so um, I get comments like oh you scrapped out a $200 item for, for five bucks worth of uh, stuff well I can't I get so much e-waste that I can't keep things that I might be able to sell for 40 or 50 bucks I've got to process it and get rid of it get it off the property um, but all these IC chips here are all removable every one of them so I will remove every IC chip here there are really nice resin dipped tantalum capacitors here so I'll take all the capacitors anything that I can see for gold recovery um, transistors uh, these gold jacks really really nice good quality gold um, so I'll take I'll pretty much depopulate most of this and turn this into virtually just scrap steel scrap metal um, and here we've got a, a very large board and once again uh, mostly removable ICs and really nice board here we want to get to so just clean up a little bit of wire <laughs> yeah the last video I did was quite a long one I didn't actually expect it to go for nearly an hour so even here that you've got a nice gold jack on the end of this wire so you know it's last resort but we're still getting you know value from it and so no dramas and like I said quick look faster than I can sell or scrap stuff out uh, things come in and you know I mentioned this was I probably picked this up over two years ago and yet yeah, okay uh, I, I, I did try to sell it once and it returned and and that's that's a problem in itself now that was just to another guy that came and picked it up if I try to sell this on eBay now uh, obviously if I didn't test it out I would sell it as an untested item but then w when you're selling something as an untested item uh, you're getting very little value for it anyway uh, very few people buy it because they want to make sure that what they're getting um, actually works so there's just too much too many risks involved um, it just gets too complicated and 
you know when I sell things I've got to go to the post office it's just time consuming I've got a a lot of things I've got to actually go to the post office twice because I've got to uh, first go and get the quote of postage because it just depends on where they are and, and then I go back and tell them how much postage and then I've got to go back to the post office it's you know when you're a, uh, a scrapper or you're getting you know one-off items that's fine you can muck around a little bit but when you're trying to run a little business and it's a low income business as it is and so time is so valuable uh, gosh and you know I get quite a few people uh, commenting saying oh you should hire someone <laughs> believe me it, yeah hiring someone is great if I had a factory it's um, probably a little bit too late now in my level uh, stage of uh, running a business to worry about you know to think about uh, running having a factory um, where I am here in Melbourne Australia uh, I'm like six kilometers what's that less than four miles from the central business district and so for me to rent a factory anywhere near me within 15 minutes drive we're talking big bucks uh, serious money and i just don't want to com you know i never wanted to commit that sort of money um, this is all aluminium so it's okay into uh, something uh, like a, a little factory it's because <laughs> if I've got to pay seven or eight hundred dollars a week to uh, sit in a factory you know you imagine the pressure that's involved with that um, you know before you even start to break even you need to first come up with six or seven you know hundred dollars rent every week you know <laughs> that pressure I never wanted in in business and so I'm I'm satisfied with the level of uh, business that I'm at and look uh, as far as um, me on selling stuff, um, <coughs> I wish I could show a lot of the guys that um, make their, you know, their comments and so on in the video, uh, what um, what can be done and what I actually do, but I can't, and so you might see, oh, here's this scrapper and he's scrapping out something that's possibly worth a hundred dollars um, for a few dollars but you don't see the the whole picture and I can't show um, the whole picture because uh, you got to keep in mind that a, a lot of other e-waste companies and my competitors are uh, watching me as well and uh, you know, you, you just don't want to give out too much information. And so here we got uh, removable ICs. We've got really good gold pins, uh, gold fingers, and some really good gold pins in there. This is a, a, a really nice little little card here. Um, so we will get value. And and don't worry, you know, when it comes to gold and stuff, you, you might look at the price of gold today. And sure, it's going up. It continually goes up has been going up for a, a long time uh, here in Australia we're looking at 27 26 to 2700 um, an ounce of gold and when I started scrapping gold was like a thousand dollars an ounce um, and maybe 1200 and so it's all good 
you know. So even though you might say, oh, okay, I've pulled out 30 bucks worth of gold recovery, um, you might have seen something five years ago. Well, that 30 bucks worth of gold recovery is now worth 60 bucks. And on it goes. Uh, that's just, uh, oh, it's a little, a little IC chip. Um, so yeah, I, I'm constantly amused by the the so-called experts that you know, and and a lot of them will say, oh, I was looking for exactly that item, and look, you've just scrapped it out. You know what a waste. Uh, <laughs> um, and usually people exaggerate a lot and um, but I still appreciate everyone commenting even if it's you know don't think that I get uh, I get down if I get negative comments and stuff uh, if you know to be a youtuber and to uh, make yourself public, you know, in a public sort of forum like YouTube, you know, you've got to uh, be able to handle negatives and stuff. And uh, otherwise, you know, it could ruin you, you know, like ruin your life, you know, trying to, uh, if you pay attention to all the negative comments. I don't disregard negative comments especially if it's constructive criticism i love it you know and yeah okay you know i might not mention it but you know i'll keep it on board and uh and try and do better next time but um one thing i can't do is change uh my entire system of how i recycle stuff because uh i've kind of worked it out and um, yeah, there are days where I, you know, I mention uh, a couple of buyers. I've got uh, a few big buyers, but I've got some specialized buyers that I really don't talk about. Um, they're very private. I don't want to mention what they buy. And um, uh, yeah, I I'd love to be able to show and tell everybody, uh, you know, every time I, I do a deal and stuff, but like I said, I can't, um, I can't be totally open in public with everything I do simply because um, there are a lot of people watching and believe me there are a lot of people watching uh, that don't make themselves known but uh, uh, from virtually every field even government organizations uh, I can tell you a few stories but I don't want to mention it um, but uh, yeah don't worry, you'd be surprised at who is watching um, videos and my videos when it comes to uh, e-waste recycling. Um, yeah, it's uh, really, really interesting. Okay, so I can't get this little one out. So I'm going to have to do a bit of bashing. Okay, just got to get this board out, and so far so good, it's just not as, not as delicate as I would like. <laughs> So yeah, one day when I um, actually retire from e-waste and probably move out of inner city and move to my 
property and uh, just go about life and um, maybe one day I'll actually uh, I'll do a video on the things that I've learnt and the things that I've uh, dealt with over the years just being public um, I think uh, you yous will find it some of you guys will find it interesting um, just how uh, amazing it is especially being you know reasonably public life um, uh, but yeah like I said I, I can't mention a lot of things uh, whilst I'm still in this business it's got nothing to do with YouTube or anything like that YouTube's great uh, everything's rolling along but uh, yep when you're on an international platform um, you're exposed and there's a little spider that's crawled onto my hand um, yeah it's a real eye-opener and uh, yeah there we go one of the most deadliest spiders in the world <laughs> uh, not really these are just little cute little spiders but, um, yeah it's just amazing um, and you know but uh, as far as uh, like um, authorities that are dealing like that are uh, overseeing e-waste recycling and that uh, they've really got nothing on me and it's always been right from day one when I started recycling e-waste uh, I always uh, maintained the policy of uh, an open sort of house kind of thing where uh, say for instance if uh, the EPA or any governing body wanted to come and inspect my property as far as how I handle e-waste, stockpile it and so on um, pretty much I'm, I'm pretty good and I've always been so I've always been on top of that kind of thing I have had a few moments um, but again I'll, I'll talk about that one day when I <laughs> when I actually retire um, but uh, yeah uh, I'm sort of uh, on the ball enough to be able to just uh, get on top of things before there's any drama and uh, yeah um, yep no problem here um, you just got to be uh, smarter and on top of the ball like I don't try and make out that I'm that I know a heap but um, when it comes to the crunch I can uh, you know hold my own as far as uh, understanding what's what in the world and in in legalities as far as what I'm into and uh, so that's one thing you know if you're looking at recycling e-waste as a business occasionally I'll mention to people you know like you know it's not all just about just advertising and picking up e-waste it's it's understanding your local laws your local uh, what's going on what other recyclers are doing and um, you know and how how to handle things and deal with things and how to um, put in place the right recyclers to handle your stuff that you can't recycle plastics uh, LCD screens there's a little transformer things like that that um, because once you're in the e-waste game um, you know you're dealing with uh, toxic material potentially and so you can't actually process that yourself unless you've got the right facility so you've got to have the right people to uh, take that off your hands um, I'm just blabbering on uh, 
but you know some some people get a little bit out of my blabbers and uh, if nothing else just a bit of entertainment um, I'm not sure what else needs to be removed from here to release the board um, maybe just some just some elbow grease <laughs> all right so yesterday's video was a lot longer than I expected with the uh, board buying and stuff so it went for almost an hour I don't want to do that again this time I want to make this one a little bit shorter so here's their board and as I said most of them are removable ICs so I'll take them there are um, ICs on there still uh, so it'll still leave us with a, a, a decent board but there are a lot of resin dipped tantalum capacitors that we definitely want from here and uh, that's about all I see and obviously the uh, gold fingers and uh, but the rest will it'll go it'll probably end up as a mid-grade board even after I take off all the removable ICs and the actual tantalums so that's good here just a fan and stuff so I'll just clean up this wire nice um, this little thing here there is a little board So we've got a, just a little mid-grade board because it's got a little IC chip and a few bits and pieces. And there's actually a, a backplane board that's got some fantastic gold pins here that I don't want to pass up. They're just uh, way too good. Even some here. Still got this thing hanging out, so I'll just break out uh, the part of the board with the pins. There we go. So there's oh there is one tantalum capacitor here that we can we can take. It's just a low grade board, but we want these gold pins and they're again uh, really a lot higher than uh, than we get generally in e waste. So we definitely and our tantalum capacitor came off as well. There we go. Nice little resin dip tantalum capacitor. And our fantastic gold pins. These are about 40 or 50 times better than your modern day gold pins by weight. I'm not exaggerating when I say 40 or 50 times better. So there we go, what was once a, a pretty sought after item for um, people, but unfortunately this one wasn't so good. And this is mostly aluminium, so I'm going to throw this into irony aluminium. Uh, as I mentioned in a video or two ago, I already sent off a batch uh, of irony alley. And I was going to do another item, but I think I'll leave that for tomorrow's video because just to make up for the hour-long video yesterday, I thought I'd 
just scrap one item today and uh, and just uh, leave it at that and make it a bit of a shorter video and uh, yeah we'll probably be do a couple of items tomorrow so I hope that, that was a bit of fun for you guys sorry for those that want a, a longer video I just wanted to make this one quick I could easily grab something else and scrap it out and make it longer but uh, yeah just uh, yeah, just to make up for yesterday's hour-long video. It was a little bit too long. Apologise for that. So keep scrapping, have fun. Catch you tomorrow. And uh, yeah, there's, there's some exciting days ahead. So uh, check them out. In two days' time, there's a pretty good pickup. And yeah, and then a board buying session. Catch you then.